हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर नम्रता खिलोचिया रॉफिल बी बी ए कॉलेज वापी इन द सब्जेक्ट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट वी आर मूविंग फर्दर विद यूनिट नंबर टू दैट इज प्रोजेक्ट अप्रेजल अंडर दैट द पार्ट बी विच कंटेन मार्केट एनालिसिस हियर इन दिस चैप्टर मार्केट एंड डिमांड एनालिसिस वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ मार्केट एंड डिमांड एनालिसिस एज वेल एज we had discussed that the market and demand analysis is divided into major six steps which we can see from this diagram apart from the six stages we had discussed stage number 1 that is situational analysis and specification of the objectives we had also discussed in the last one e session regarding collection of secondary information this includes sources of secondary data we had also discussed about the conduct of market survey which includes seven major steps in data collection which is what primary level now in today's session we will be going to discuss about three major problems faced in market survey and two characteristics of the market so let's move further with today's session with the problems faced in market survey so as i told you that there are three problems mainly faced by the researcher while conducting market survey these are first one heterogeneity of the country now we know very well about the india that india is the highest popul uh, highest second populated country in the whole universe and every individual having certain different characteristics from each other especially regional wise geographical wise state wise caste wise and many more segments are there and due to this discrimination or heterogeneity it create problem for the market survey since it is well high impossible to cover all the states in an all india survey the country has to be divided into broad territories going beyond the state boundaries however the heterogeneity of the country makes the task difficult as i told you presently the research agencies seems to be divided the country the way they think in appropriate way like the agencies are going to divide the population into four area that is zone wise north zone east zone south zone etc so the population divided into zone wise or state wise to make it much easier due to the complexities faced with the problem of heterogeneity this cause problems in comparing the finding of the different research agencies though by making it easier again the problem of comparing will create so the heterogeneity of the country that is the first one problem second one problem that is multiplicity of the languages so many languages are spoken by the indians related to the above difficulty the problem of multiplicity of the languages confronted by the research agencies interested in conducting an all india survey the third one problem faced by the market surveyor or researcher that is design of the question now what happened with the formulation of the question as that is to make it simpler by the researcher he is going to formulate the question as based on objectivity and by using the scaling so for example scaling technique commonly recommended in the marketing research literature which involve either likert scale of 5 point scale or 7 point scale right now such redefined scale are not easily aware and understandable by the general public they do not they do not have any idea relating to what are the scaling technique and that's why they randomly tick mark on the answer or available option and that's why it will create the problem of analysis so these are the three major problem faced in market survey now after that the next one point in the market and demand analysis that is 
स्टेज नंबर फोर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द मार्केट बेस्ड ऑन द इंफॉर्मेशन गैदर्ड फ्रॉम द सेकेंडरी डेटा एंड प्राइमरी सोर्सेज दैट इज मार्केट सर्वे द मार्केट फॉर द प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस मे बी डिस्क्राइब इन टर्म्स ऑफ फॉलोइंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विच इज गिवन इन द स्लाइड दीज आर सेवन मेजर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट इज इफेक्टिव डिमांड इन द पास्ट एंड प्रेजेंट ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ द डिमांड प्राइस मैथड्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड सेल्स प्रमोशन कंज्यूमर्स सप्लाई एंड कंपिटिशन एंड सेवंथ वन इज गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी इन टू डिस सेशन वी विल बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस ओनली टू कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मार्केट दैट इज इफेक्टिव डिमांड इन द पास्ट एंड प्रेजेंट एंड ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ द डिमांड द अदर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स वी विल कंटिन्यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन सेशन सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द फर्स्ट वन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द मार्केट एंड दैट इज इफेक्टिव डिमांड इन द पास्ट एंड प्रेजेंट now to identify the effective demand in the past and present the starting point typically is apparent consumption so here for forecasting the demand we need to calculate what is the apparent consumption now how one can identify this apparent consumption by using the formula which is given in the slide apparent consumption is equal to production plus import minus export minus change in the stock level of particular product to figure of apparent consumption has to be adjusted for consumption of the product by the producers and the effect of abnormal factors the consumption series after such adjustment may be obtained for several years in a competitive market effective demand and apparent consumption are equal however in most of the developing countries where competitive market do not exist for a variety of products due to exchange restrictions and control on production and distribution the figure of the apparent consumption may have to be adjusted for the market imperfection and here that's why it becomes difficult task to analyze the apparent consumption the second one characteristic of the market that is breakdown of the demand now to make easier the demand is break down into major three criteria that is nature of the product consumer groups and geographical division let's discuss all these three one by one the first one breakdown of the demand that is based on nature of the product now one general name of the product is divided into many different products as for example the commercial vehicle demand is divided or break down into the demand based on demand for the trucks and demand for the buses even based on various capacities of buses and trucks the demand is again sub divided so that is the first one type of breakdown of the demand that is based on nature of the product the second one breakdown it is based on consumer groups so here the consumers are divided into two groups first one industrial consumers and second one that is the market consumers which is called as domestic consumers again further industrial consumers divided into sub groups like automobile consumer groups petroleum industrial group uh coal and mining sector industrial group agriculture group etc on the other hand domestic consumers are again divided into many demographical data like uh demograph uh, domestic consumers are divided into different income groups again domestic consumers are divided on the basis of the gender their education their age group etc the third one breakdown of the demand is based on geographical division so here the demand of the product or service is divided into different geographical area like state or zone etc now what is the use of this breakdown of the demand why is segmentation analysis required the segmental information is helpful because the nature of the demand tends to vary or change from one segment to another and that's why here 
it is uh, reflecting different marketing strategies for appropriation based on the segmentation so segmentation is mainly useful to prepare different strategies for different demand class so that to improve the demand and create benefits in the future for organization so these are the two major characteristics of the market as i told you the other characteristics that is from third number to seven number we will be going to discuss in the next one session thank you students